Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another apartment for you guys and this one honestly got inspired just by one piece which I really like doing this lately where I just pick one item and then kind of build off of it uh, when it comes to style and color scheme and that item was actually the little dividers from the Stefan set by Pierre Sim. Originally though, it was going to be more blue themed, but I decided to change it at the last second to green, like this nice pastel green color. And I'm really happy I did that because I think I prefer to the blue this time around. You'll also notice that I used a lot from the Soho set as well to kind of add just these nice, nice um, wall accents and stuff like this little TV area because again with the tall wall height it's really hard to make apartments look nice so yeah I always try to do kind of a nice wall feature when it is a tall wall height apartment because otherwise yeah it just looks weird even like the hanging plants hang so high up because there's really not many that are long enough and that would be something great actually if CC creators could make something like that. These really long dangling plants that would be perfect for like the taller wall heights. I would love that. Um, yeah, otherwise I just got inspired by like imagining a single sim living here. It is a studio so the bedroom's technically not closed off because it's just these dividers that I've used that I'm using here to kind of close off the bedroom area but it's technically not closed off so it is a studio apartment and I just really like that idea because I feel like I don't do studios very often um, just because they end up being way smaller builds and I know when I started this channel that was kind of my goal was to make smaller builds because I often make really large ones on my main channel and you guys, I just struggle so much to make small builds and the good thing about them though is that the floor plans are so easy to do because you just don't have a lot of space to work with and I find the bigger the build, the harder it is to have every room be like the perfect size and the perfect layout. But this one was a breeze in terms of just laying it out I knew I wanted to use platforms for the bedroom area because again with the tall wall height it's really hard to make it look nice sometimes and that way I ended up with more of a medium wall height in the bedroom which is nice and I just like how it kind of helps separate it as well when it's like this big open floor plan like this so this is the kitchen that we're finishing up here I think it's really cute I love the little wooden backsplash I did to kind of set it out as its own space especially against all these white walls i wanted to add these wooden accents to this apartment i think it just makes it look so much cozier and like cleaner and initially another thing with this apartment i had it all concrete which is something i've definitely done a couple times before because i really like the very clean modern look and then adding cozy furniture to it but just in the end i decided that it wasn't the right like color scheme for what I was going with it looked a little bit too like basic I guess so I decided to add these nice bright wooden floors in here and I think it really adds a lot oh yeah so the other thing this sim I imagined to be into music so we have a piano and a guitar in this apartment um, mostly because I downloaded is it a new set it's kind of her newest set but Sibule actually put out a boho set which I was so excited to see and it's so cute and I really hope that she adds on to it I don't know if she will but I thought it was a really fun set it's this bedroom set and it's the one I used in this apartment as well which you'll see in a couple minutes um but it comes with this really cute guitar and I was like oh I think I need to use this so this sim is going to be into music and I always find it harder when you have these really small areas to work with to fit in the hobby or skills items so I think this worked well because it adds to the like furniture of the room the piano and stuff so now we're onto the only bathroom in this apartment and I tried really hard to make this one quite detailed and 
cluttered up because I just imagine the sim again is kind of young and just lives in a bit of mess. <laughs> the main living area is a bit cleaner but the bathroom and bedroom are definitely a little bit messy. I also put these like pothos vines everywhere because I think that's kind of fun to have this like overgrown look in the bathroom even though there's no windows we can just use our imaginations that there's like a grow light in this room or something to keep these plants happy but I just thought this was fun and a really great way to take up again the tall wall height that nobody really likes in this game I think because it's just so hard to work with and make look natural like all the furniture looks so tiny all the time when you use the tall wall height so yeah this is the bedroom slash office area of the apartment I again tried to really decorate this room because it is a small space so it's nice to fill it up a lot I feel like it makes it look even cozier so I put these like nice shelves here we also have another bookshelf and then the bed area which is pretty simple it has like this big built-in um headboard which is kind of cool that you see here this bed is really cute it looks so comfy with the blanket that just kind of drapes the entire thing which is something I'm considering doing with my own bed maybe not to the extent that it's on the floor but right now our blanket like doesn't drape over the sides very well because it's a bit too small and I honestly think it looks great it's so like comfortable when you have a huge blanket on the bed so yeah I love this bed I think I'm going to use it a lot in these kind of more cutesy looking apartments um just because again it looks really cozy I know the other one that looks cozy is from Peacemaker his cozy knit set he has like these really big knit blankets that I also love a lot but as you can see I'm adding just a little bit of like clutter like shoes and socks and stuff on the ground and some pillows on the ground because I wanted it to look a little bit messy like this sim doesn't totally care about everything being like perfect and clean maybe they're even in university or something like a really young sim is what i'm imagining to live in this apartment um i don't think they live with a partner i think it's just them on their own but they totally could live with a partner um if you wanted them to if you want to play in this build but yeah this build is really cute and i'm really happy with how it turned out um Especially considering when I started, I did not know what I wanted to really do. I just had that one divider and I was like, this is cute to like separate the space. And I knew I wanted to do the platform bedroom this higher than the rest, which I have done one other time. I think in one of my first speed build apartments and I really do like how it looks and how it separates the space. Yeah, and I also added this cute little bin from, um... It's Max 20's garage like little set he did because it kind of looks like just extra storage that you would have especially if you're in college of just random stuff where you don't really have a closet or somewhere to put it. I just thought that was also a really cute touch. Oh and I actually used I forget who no I think it's Hey Harry's clean desk that she made for her clean set. I believe it's her and not Felix's desk. I get them kind of confused because their styles of sets right now are a little bit similar but I did use it in this space because it's really unique and I feel like it was just kind of fun and it added a bit of like a statement piece to this bedroom where otherwise it's just a lot of like kind of samesy looking furniture but yeah you'll see it in a second and we're already coming to the end of this video so thank you guys so so much for watching to this point if you want to support the channel don't forget to comment like and subscribe you can also check out my patreon down in the description below where you'll find all the trade files for this build as well as all the cc for download if you'd rather download from the gallery i'm on the gallery at lindsay builds thank you guys so much see you next time bye